Escadela Cata, Embrace Cadilla Shabacata Prendegia, Shadigades, Cadeba, Mantebra, Kepro Shabicatos Cadilla Cata, Medebaratusia, the opening of the eyes, Ginas Cabadi Cataliata, Grantes Cate Badida Cata, Berando Shekete Pacata. There are others who do this business of God because they have been taught that God can bless. And when you are in ministry, you can get honorarium. When you are in ministry, you can get all kinds of things. Someone can come and dash you a car. Somebody can give you a house. And when they try, they apply for jobs. It doesn't work. They apply for whatever. They just come and then they start ministry. And a semblance of passion. And then after one year, they realize they have to rent an auditorium. They realize that there are things that are coming they count the offering and it's nothing to write home about and they say god i've tried for you i gave you one year of my life i'm not ready to continue being a fool like this because we do not have encounters a time came when the disciples of jesus became very frustrated listen when jesus began his journey with them I remember Jesus telling them all kinds of things and they ran, they left their fishing. A time came, Peter was waiting for Jesus to come and he said, look, we have left all to follow you. If you are deceiving us, tell us now so that we can redeem the time and get back to what we are doing. And Jesus looked at them. They were offended. They were frustrated. The staying power to finish strong was not there. As soon as they captured Jesus, and they thought that this superstar would just defeat everyone just shake his hand and everyone will be under the anointing when jesus gave himself watch what happened the bible says they ran away is it in your bible every one of them remember shortly before that time peter vowed jesus even pleaded with peter let me wash your feet he said no way not you now peter ran away The fathers of faith and the patriarchs that we celebrate today, world over, were not just people who were interested in serving God alone. These were men and women who had solid encounters. They had encounters with God, encounters that would never, they, they were not going to change from it. Most of my experiences and the new seasons in my life have come as a result of encounters most of them most of them have come as a result of encounters now let me tell you this there are negative demonic and satanic encounters pay attention i must tell you this for instance, there are many people today in deception and the confidence that their deception thrives on is the encounters that they had. There are many people who believe they went to heaven. I tell you by the authority of scripture, where they went was not heaven. I can tell you this. Both the description, the experience and the result tells you it's not heaven they went to. There are people today who claim they had out-of-body experiences and many of them interacted with strange spirits, familiar spirits. They thought it was the Holy Spirit. Do you know that almost every error in the body of Christ today came as a result of these same encounters? Many people will tell you I had an encounter either with an angel or a spirit and he told me, right. And from there, they begin to ship in and advocate all kinds of error. People have gone to fast for days and they met a spirit. Because you see, I'll be sharing with you that one of the principal triggers for encounter is hunger. Hunger. When you find a believer who is hungry, please be fast to guide that person. Because Satan too looks for hunger. Be fast to guide that person. Because Satan too looks for hunger hunger is proof of health when people are sick the first thing they lose is appetite so you want to start on a journey I want to know you I want to live for you I want to serve you I want to love you with all my heart that drives you 
to a seven days dry prayer and fasting and you are praying you are lying down you are rolling left right and center and Satan finds an opportunity your organs of interaction with the realm of the spirit are heightened because of that kind of consecration and Satan comes as an angel of light and plants all kinds of demonic and dangerous seeds I will tell you why I'm teaching what I'm teaching tonight it's very important encounters are powerful encounters are important but if I do not give you a few guidelines because I fear for my generation our appetite for Rema our appetite for new dimensions our appetite for the angelic realm our appetite for the prophetic realm is that is driving us into dimensions that if not guided you have not yet seen error that will come to the body I tell you in the next five six ten years if we do not create this apostolic guidance for the body of Christ many young people will delve into different Friend versions of error you will not even know what is authentic Christianity again are we together years ago in Zaria I remember I think I've shared it here. I don't know if I've shared it here there were some gentlemen who came in I think from Kano also one gentleman just came believing he was Jesus not a servant of Jesus believing he was Jesus and based on their revelation, they believed that I was like their John the Baptist. So they came. And together with the boys, I, jokes apart, I really mean it. I wouldn't stand here if I'm joking, I'll tell you I'm joking. After service, this boy stood, wore a regalia. And then someone was standing by his side. I don't, know, I don't know what they call that one now. And then when they stood before me, I thought they were cracking jokes with me. I was even laughing even though I was tired until I found out they were not playing. Now, do you know, listen, listen, listen. Do you know those boys started with prayer? Hmm. Prayer does many things, so you have to understand the side effects of being open to the realm of the spirit. And I will teach you how to create that guidance. Encounters. It, I've started by appreciating encounters. But I am telling you, there, there, is, there is a management system that must be introduced fast because the body of Christ is in trouble. And it's encounters that will lead to the error of this generation of believers. Encounters. Satan has programmed arsenals of error that will be shipped to the body of Christ through encounters. Pseudo-Christian experiences pseudo -ex angelic experiences pseudo heavenly experiences and they bring all kinds of destructive doctrines with full assurance there are people today who hear voices they stepped into the prophetic and the Holy Ghost has never been part of any revelation most of those revelations come from demons do they hear well yes sir they hear now I'm not being, listen, listen, when you, when you are here, don't just be listening and thinking of any man of God. I'm teaching the body of Christ. Because most of the people, you see, when you hear this, some of us already have preconceived biases. And the bias is because we've never really been serious with God. It's not because we are passionate. We've not been serious with God. So anything that looks supernatural, we fight it. I'm not endorsing your laxity. There are all kinds of errors. Those errors continue to be translated into teachings. You see, the thing about encounters is that every time you have an encounter, the urge to document it and to share it is there. And we live in a generation right now that is passionate with giving applause. Anything that is scarce, anything that is new, anything that looks like rema, it looks like you derive your respect in the body of Christ from the scarceness of your communication. If we are not careful, there will be bitter casualties. I tell you this by the Spirit. Many people are beginning to ship doctrines of demons. And communicate them and many people keep swallowing it hook line and sinker Satan is doing this because he knows that the spirit of revelation we're coming there when I teach you this you will know why we need the spirit of revelation 
Hallelujah. There was a man of God many years ago. I didn't have a direct relationship with him, but we were so blessed by his teachings. He was an amazing man. He taught well. He taught powerfully. His teachings were powerful. He was some, somewhere around Asia. Eventually, when I started studying his teachings after some time, he started having all kinds of strange encounters. And one day I had to say, uh-uh, 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 something, something, something is wrong. This guy began to teach all kinds of concepts. He began to manifest attributes that I knew there were problems with. Today, as I talk to you, I'm not even sure he's in ministry again. Powerful man of God. Sincerely so. I don't know what happened because of this search for encounters. Let me construct what I'm saying so you'll understand. Number one, encounters are important. We need encounters so that they create convictions. But, number two, encounters are a two-edged a two sword. On one hand, they can bless and lift. But on another hand, they can bring conviction towards error that destroys. Are we together? 